Hello, in this video, we're going to solve this rational equation. We have one over x minus two plus three over x plus three equals four over x squared plus x minus six. Let's carefully work through this solution. Let's start by writing down the equation one more time. So on the left-hand side, we have one over x minus two plus three over x plus 3. And on the right hand side we have 4 over, and we should be able to factor this. Let's try it. So I'm going to write it like this, parentheses x, parentheses x. And the reason I'm writing it this way is because x times x is x squared. We need two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to the coefficient of x, which is 1. So three times two is six. If we make the three positive and the two negative, that should work. Let's check. Three times negative two is negative six. Yep, looks okay. And then three plus negative two is one. Yep, looks okay. So now to solve this equation, we're looking for x. So all of the x's are on the bottom. So it's a good idea maybe to clear the fractions. We're going to multiply both sides by x plus 3 and x minus 2 because that's going to clear the fractions. So on the right hand side, I'll write it like this parentheses x plus 3 times x minus 2. And then I'm going to put this whole thing here in parentheses. I'm going to write it again over here on the left hand side. So x plus 3, x minus 2. We're multiplying the entire left hand side by x plus 3 and x minus 2. So I'm not going to skip any steps here. So it's x plus 3, x minus 2 times 1 over x minus 2. So I'm going to write it like that. x plus 3, parentheses, x minus 2, times, and then 1 over x minus 2. And we have a plus sign. And then x plus 3, x minus 2, times 3 over x plus 3. That will be x plus 3. And then x minus 2 times, and then here we have 3 over x plus 3. On the right hand side, it's pretty easy. You can think of this as a number over 1. And so the x plus 3's cancel, and so do the x minus 2's. So it becomes 4, which is really wonderful. Now we can do some cancellation on the left. Again, you want to think of this as a number over 1 in both cases. And so the x minus 2 cancels. So we're left with x plus 3 over 1, which is just x plus 3. Here, the x plus 3 cancels. So we're left with 3 times x minus 2 over 1, which is just plus 3. Put the 3 first. Notice I did that. x minus 2, and that's equal to 4. Notice I put that 3 in front of the x minus 2, OK, just to make it look a little better. Now we can do some more math here. It looks like we can distribute this 3. So we first write down this piece again. So x plus 3. And then we can distribute the 3 here. 3 times x is 3x. Right? 3 times x is 3x. And then 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And this is equal to 4. We can combine like terms now. There's really a 1 in front of the x. So if you have 1x plus 3x, that's 4x. And then 3 minus 6 is minus 3. And over here on the right, we have a 4. And we can add 3 to both sides. So plus 3 plus 3. We end up with 4x equal to 7. And then because the x is being um, multiplied by 4, we can divide by 4. And so we get x equals 7 over 4 as our final answer. And that's it. That's going to be the final answer in this particular problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.